In medical news, CIS performs a first-in-the-nation procedure in the cath lab at Terrebonne General Medical Center. This is the first uh, patient in the United States uh, treated with this device. The reason we're here is for uh, Dr. Walker and CIS. Uh, Dr. Walker, as many of the audience would know, is really one of the leaders uh, in uh, peripheral artery disease, particularly atherectomy. The Phoenix catheter, which is the name of our device, uh, was in very good hands, we felt, uh, and this first case uh, showed that that was definitely the case. The Phoenix Atheromed cutter allowed us to very safely in this uh, vessel below the knee, uh, go in and cut and remove tissue uh, which was blocking an artery. It simply tracked over the guide wire and it removed the plaque which is made of cholesterol and fibrous tissue and clot. It allowed us to cut and suck this material out. The procedure which is going through the motions to get FDA approval has great potential to help those affected by PAD. This device is, is not a device that right now uh, we can use in every single patient. Um, uh, patients have to meet certain criteria because it is still uh, being used under an investigational protocol. So we can only use it in lesions of a certain length and in vessels of a certain size. If you have peripheral arterial disease, you're far more likely to die of a heart attack or a stroke than other people even if you've never had any heart symptoms at all. In fact, if you have peripheral arterial disease, you're more likely to die of a heart attack than a heart attack survivor uh, who's survived a prior heart attack. So if you have leg pains, it may be a warning that you have a lot more at risk than just simply leg pains. It's very important to have this evaluated.